Welcome to the Seminoles.com Daily Report for Thursday, September 10th. I'm Scott Kodak. Florida State got back to practice yesterday afternoon to prepare for Saturday evening's game against Jacksonville State. Yet the task of getting ready for the Gamecocks has been made even tougher by the short week and just two days of practice. It's tough on these kids. I mean, today you're going out trying to get a preparation down on Wednesday, which really can be your last hard, hard day. And they're still two days off a game, and I mean, on a very physical game, they're banged and bruised. And our kids, after, after about that first quarter of practice, you know, that stiffness started getting going and the blood gets flowing and they start practicing and getting it. But they were, it, that's tough. Although Florida State is just one week into the 2009 season, a recurring theme seems to be the outstanding play by true freshmen. Jacoby McDaniel, Greg Reed, and Dustin Hopkins have each made immediate impacts for the Seminoles. I did everything that I was coached to do. And if I just keep doing that, I mean, it'll be plenty more plays that'll be just like that play that I made, that, night, that uh, individual tackle. But when I made that uh, individual tackle, and when I tried to get up, I couldn't get up in time, so I just got up and just paused. And I was like, yes, I did it. Just one day after receiving ACC Player of the Week honors, Jessica Price was back in the news on Wednesday receiving National Player of the Week honors by the NSCAA. The Seminoles travel down to Orlando to face UCF tonight and are excited for the challenge. It's had a good start to their season from what I understand, and I think that I mean, it doesn't really matter who we play. I think that we need to come out and impose our game play on our our style of play on them, and come out as if we would against any other team. And I mean, they're going to fight hard. They're a physical team, and I think that we just need to rise to the occasion and take another step and come away with a win, hopefully. Anytime you go away from home, it's hard to play. And I think as a freshman, I didn't realize that, but being an upperclassman now, I see that. And uh, Going into either UF or UCF, any of these guys, they always they're ready to beat us because we're one of the, like they say, top teams in Florida. Finally, make sure to check out our brand new blog on Seminoles.com. Bree breaks it down as a weekly blog from senior middle blocker Brianna Berry, recapping each week's matches and giving insight into the Florida State volleyball program. That's it for today's daily report, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.